welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a recipe I told you about a couple weeks ago um, when uh, we did the poll on Instagram and Twitter of which Disney park um, I should choose a recipe from. And we uh, kind of had a split half and half Disneyland and um, Disney California Adventure. Is that right? Disney California, I think so, anyway. Um, so I did a recipe from Disneyland uh, a couple weeks ago, but what I didn't know is that this recipe, uh, which is Jack Jack's Num Num Cookies, can also be found in, I want to say Hollywood Studios, I'm not sure, I, but I did not know, so um, either way, uh, we, that is what we are going to make tonight, today. I already have the oven preheated to 375. I went ahead, I'm trying to find a way of doing this a little bit faster and more effectively, I guess. Um, I went ahead and um, put out all the ingredients, um, already measured out so we can get this moving. Hi, Michael. Michael sees chips, I knew it. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna go real fast today. <laughs> All right, let me um, swing it around. I'll tell you um, all the ingredients and the measurements. I am going to go ahead and put the recipe in the description box below. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I was putting it originally, I was doing, you know, a corresponding blog post. I do have a blog. It's called lovealwaysjoanne.com, and I will link that below as well. I was putting um, a corresponding blog post um, in the description box for all my other videos of the recipes however I think um, some some of uh, some of you have asked for me to put it in the description as well so I'm gonna do both um, this way you know you don't have to go the extra step if you didn't want to um, so I will do that so this recipe is um, again uh, I would say pretty simple it looks like it's a really just a very good chocolate chip cookie and um, in Disney California Adventure, it is, uh, they have these in Pixar Pier. Um, so let me swing it around and we can uh, show, I can show you the ingredients and the measurements. Again, I'll put it down below and we can get this thing started. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Um, this recipe calls, calls for uh, three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Uh, and um, three tablespoons of vegetable shortening um, and a quarter cup of light brown sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla e extract and what else uh, okay one egg and I'm sorry I'm trying to read it as I go uh, three quarter cups of flour and a half a teaspoon of baking soda and it does call for a half a teaspoon of salt, which I do not have, and um, one cup of milk chocolate chunks um, divided. I bought ones that were already um, divided, which was perfect. It worked out great. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the um, the uh, mixer ready because we have to do some mixing of the ingredients, and then we can get started. Okay, so the first step is, of course, preheat the oven to 375, which I already did, and to line uh, three four-inch uh, ramekins with parchment paper and set aside. Okay, that I already did earlier. So the first step we're going to do is actually, I'm sorry, not first, actually, it's a second. Um, we're going to add the butter and the shortening, and um, with the flat beater attachment, we're going to cream together. Uh, the two ingredients and then go ahead and add the brown sugar the regular granulated sugar and beat for two minutes okay so I am gonna go ahead and do that I'm probably let me see how I could do this and show you at the same time I'll be right back okay. so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the shortening and the butter together and then you know what I need I need to get myself a um, cookbook the holders. I don't know if that's what you call them. Cookbook holder or whatever. Yeah, I think it's a holder, but anyway, that's what I need to get because I hate looking down, looking up, looking down. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get these going and I will speed this up so we don't have to be tortured. 
Okay, so now we're going to add the brown sugar, which I did just put in there, and uh, let's see, granulate two sugar, <laughs> granulated sugar, and then beat for two minutes. And Maggie is talking to me in the background. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and I did the vanilla and the one egg. And now we're going to mix in the flour, the baking soda, and the no salt for me. So, baking, uh, okay, baking soda. Flour. I like to clean up as I go. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and speed this up. So that is all mixed together, and the next thing we're going to do is add one fourth cup of the chocolate chunks to the batter mix. So I have already measured out. So I'm just going to take a few of these and just put them in my measuring cup, and then we can add them. And then I guess, yeah, then we got to stir them in. Okay, thank you, Michael. All right, let me go and get. I am so happy to tell you that my friend Grace <coughs> went to Disney World last week and she sent me this. So I have a proper utensil now. So, <laughs> thank goodness somebody was thinking of me. <laughs> Or we would hear that lovely spoon scraping sound again. I just know that you all live for that. Okay, let me just mix these in. Right. I know I shouldn't have given it to you, right? Shouldn't have done that. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is pack each ramekin with about half inch cookie dough. Top the cookie dough with the remaining of the chocolate chunks and bake 15 minutes. Wow, this is really easy too, right? I like these fast and simple ones. All right, here. Yes. here. Good? Good. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, well, now he's trying to steal the dough. That's, he's smart, let me tell you. All right, let me go get the ramekins. Okay, so these are the ramekins that I, I have. I actually didn't have this size. I have the smaller one. So my aunt was so kind to let me borrow a few of hers. And actually, I thought they were needed four, but we only need three. It did say line them with um, parchment paper. And I do have parchment paper. I actually have something. But um, it was too hard for me to get them in the shape that I want them. So I have these cupcake liners. I just open them up and spread them out along the bottom. I'm wondering if I should spray them maybe. Uh, I think I will do that. I just don't want to take a chance that it's stuck. All right, I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I will show you how I fill them up. I know you, you can't see my face, but you don't need to see my face. You need to see what I'm doing here. So I am just gonna go ahead and Fill up each one. Of course. These are going to be some big cookies. Well, I guess that's what they're supposed to be. I never had these. Didn't, didn't even know about them until a couple weeks ago. Don't ask me how I missed that. I am using my hands. No, Michael, leave it. And um, just trying to fill it evenly. It's just so thick. It's so hard to spread this dough around. How about, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of each one. And then I'll um, go ahead and fill it, fill it, um, you know, make them more even if I need to. Dying to get to these guys. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little piece 
next to the hem that I dropped. Oh, okay. So today is Sunday when I'm doing this. Alex is at baseball practice. No games this weekend. Actually, um, they're doing really well this season. They have won every game that they've played. So, he's very excited. Which is good. Because if he's excited and he's happy, he just keeps wanna wanna keep wants to play. Okay. Look at you're still hearing that scraping. I didn't want you to miss it, guys. Didn't want you to miss it. <laughs> are not going to be the neatest ones. Let me just tell you. Not going to look as pretty as Disney California Adventure. What are you going to do? Doesn't have to be perfect, right? So I always tell everybody, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be, you know, somewhat decent. <laughs> okay. Last of the scrapings out. I promise. Okay. Let me see. Excuse my fingers, but I just want to make these I'll fill up the ramekins as much as I can. I think Mike, Michael's getting impatient there. He's like, all right. Okay. All right, so the next step is uh, to top them with the remaining of the chocolate chunks. Okay. So let me go ahead and speed that up for you. Okay, so now all the ramekins are filled up, and now I, I see it. I can see the shape of the num num cookie much better. So this is what they look like. Let me see. I can just bring it up and show you. So they're cute, but they are some big uh, chocolate cookie, right? Chocolate chip cookie, I should say. But they look good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put them in the oven. What was it, 15? About 15 minutes. And um, then we'll check on them and see what they look like when they come out. Be right back. Okay, so the Num Num cookies are in the oven. They will be there uh, for 15 minutes. I put the timer on. And um, I'm going to make myself some coffee because it's that time of the day, right? What time is it? 2.24, people. <laughs> um, I usually have a second cup of coffee in the afternoon. Sometimes if I'm really feeling it, like I've been up all night with Michael, I will have one, my second cup in the morning. Um, but knock on wood, he's been sleeping. And next week, um, Michael can go back to school. If you uh, didn't know, a couple weeks ago, we were in quarantine. Um, we uh, had a little, um, scare <laughs> but everything was okay everybody tested negative everybody did really well with the test that's what I was more worried about even for me <laughs> um, but everybody's good so they get to go back to school tomorrow the 17th and um, unfortunately Alex the way his hybrid schedule falls he's actually gonna return the following week so um, but I'm glad that Michael's going back in because um, Michael is um, has autism. He is nonverbal, and he needs the schedule to really be able to, um, you know, succeed in his programs. And uh, I can hear him. <laughs> um, and he, uh, you know, he does better when he's on a schedule. So I am happy that he is going back tomorrow, and um, Alex will go again next weekend. Next, not next weekend, following week. Anyway. Let me get my coffee going and I'm going to clean up the dishes that are in the sink because I can't stand that. And um, by then, these uh, cookies should be done. We can take a look at them. And I am going to try my best not to have any. Um, I'm trying to, you know, rein myself in a little bit. You know, summer's coming. <laughs> anyway, I will uh, be right back. Okay, my coffee just brewed. I'm going to have a cup while we wait for these to cool off. And then I will take them out of the ramekins. Ramekins, ramekins.
Which way is it? Rabbit kids or web kids? Either way, take them out and um, we'll see what they look like. I hope they don't stick. Um, I know they said parchment paper and um, I did spray it, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I need my coffee. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm just uh, having my coffee, but I'm thinking out loud and I'm thinking um, I really would like to do more of a food recipe next time because these dessert ones are killing me. And second, I think it, you know, mix things up a little bit. I don't think I, I think I only did one actual food, not snack, right? I think I only did the macaroni, the gourmet macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to try and see um, if I can find some recipes, regular food recipes. Um, and um, I think I'm going to do that. I also wanted to um, throw out the idea of maybe doing a themed um, video uh, a little bit, you know, maybe like a, a Moana theme or something, you know, and have food maybe from, um, or recipes, share recipes from uh, Ohana, is it, I believe? Um, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I think, let me be quiet now. <laughs> okay. These look really good, I have to say. <laughs> but not bad, not bad at all. I didn't take the little paper off, I will in a minute. But I I think they're pretty close to what I've seen in videos and, uh, and in pictures. So here you go, Jack Jack's Num Num Cookies. Yum yum. Anyway, not bad. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you know when my next Disney recipe mm -hmm. comes out. You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you again. I really appreciate your support. I will put the recipe in the description bar um, below. And also, if you have any suggestions, any recipe that you want me to try, or um, it could be anything. It could be a food, a snack a cocktail <laughs> um anything just let me know and i will try and find a recipe for it and um try to uh, make it for you i appreciate your support thank you so much i can't believe that right now um i'm at 72 subscribers and honestly didn't think i would get more than a handful so i uh truly appreciate it thank you so much have a great day guys thanks